Hello everyone, welcome to Career Pundit Electric. Today we will discuss an interview question that is why the nature of SU waveform is sinusoidal. Why not it is triangular or square wave or any other periodic wave? As you know, SU waveform or sine waveform is also a periodic waveform, but we in AC we use only sine wave. We do, do not use triangular waveform or any other periodic waveform. So the common answer is the sinusoidal signal is easy to generate. And number two is any signal can be written in terms of sine and cosine as per the Fourier series. Being an electrical engineer, you know the generation of sine wave is not an easy task. So this two answer is not the correct answer of this question. So then what is the correct answer? The correct answer is addition, subtraction, integration, and differentiation. is possible in sinusoidal signal. So this is the correct answer. Then if addition, multiplication, subtraction is possible in sinusoidal signal, then it is not possible in periodic or triangular signal. So let us see. If we take if you take a square wave, we we'll compare two square waves, square wave 1 and square wave 2, then the addition of these two square waves is also a square wave. Similarly, if you, sorry, if you take a triangular wave, then the addition of a triangular waveform is also a triangular waveform. So then another confusion that is the addition, multiplication and differentiation is possible in sine wave. It is also possible in square wave and periodic waveform and triangular waveform. Then it is a correct answer. Yes. You see that if I shift one of the two signal from its reference, then you will not get the same square wave. That is if I compare two square wave and the square wave two is shifted by from its reference then the output signal of these two square wave is not a square wave. It is destruction. Similarly, if you shift one triangular waveform from its reference, then you will not get a triangular waveform. It is a destruction waveform. But if we are two sine wave, then you will get a sine wave. And also, if I shift one of these two sine wave from its reference, then also you get a sine wave. What may be the magnitude? Magnitude may be different, but you get two sine wave that is possible only for sine wave. So, if addition and multi subtraction is possible in sine wave, that is you get, if you add two sine wave or subtract two sine wave, you will get the sine wave. Another point is differentiation. So, so if you differentiate a square wave, you will get a triangular waveform. And if you integrate, sorry, if you integrate a square wave, you will get a triangular waveform. And if you differentiate the square wave, you will get a spike. Just see in the figure, you will get a spike. Similarly, if we integrate a triangular waveform, we get a sine wave and if you differentiate a triangular waveform, we will get a square wave. So, but if we differentiate a sine waveform, you will get a sine waveform and if you differentiate a sine waveform, you will get a sine waveform and if, if you integrate the sine waveform, you will get the sine waveform also. So, for sine waveform, differentiation, integration, addition and multiplication, we will get a sine wave, but in other waveform, we will get not exactly the same waveform. So this is the answer. Then again question is, why these four expression, 
addition, multiplication, differentiation, and integration. Why not other expression? So for that, you will just know. Being an electrical engineer, you will you will just go through resistor, inductor, capacitor, and source. <coughs> 1 2 3 4 four element will just found in a electrical engineering so this is the symbol of resistor this is the symbol of inductor and this is the symbol of capacitor and this is your and dc source so i will just explain what is my current and voltage relationship v is equal to i into r for a resistor and I is equal to V by R. Now, for inductor, V is equal to L di by dt and I is equal to 1 by L V dt. Now, for capacitor, I is equal to C dV by dt and V is equal to 1 by C integration of I dt. So, for this expression, we will just the if you analysis this electrical circuit, you will get this three element and also sources and the expression, the mathematical expression just you get the multiplication, addition, subtraction and integration and differentiation. For that reason, we go for addition, multiplication, subtraction and integration and differentiation. For that reason, we will use AC waveform in the nature of AC waveform is sinusoidal, not square wave and triangular waveform. Because if you integrate and differentiate the triangular waveform and square waveform, you will not get the same triangular and square waveform. Also, if you add and subtract triangular waveform and square waveform, you will not get same nature of triangular waveform and square waveform. So, what is my conclusion? My conclusion is number one, number one conclusion. Number one addition and Subtraction is possible in sine wave. Okay, number two is integration and differentiation. is possible in sine wave. Due to this region, the nature of AC waveform is sine wave, not triangular and square wave. So, this is the conclusion of my question. So, if you get more videos, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.